Good afternoon, friends. Thank you so much for joining us for another craft that we'll be making here to celebrate spring. What we're gonna be making today is something you can make for yourself or even makes a wonderful gift to give to someone that you love. Today, we're gonna learn how to make tissue paper flowers, just like the one right here. So this is one that I had made just to be able to show you what we're gonna be able to do with just a few pieces of tissue paper and some pipe cleaner. So really all what you need for this is gonna be many pages of uh, tissue paper and a pipe cleaner and some scissors. Um, you may or may not have a grown-up help you staple your tissue paper together. I don't really think you have to do that, but some of you may like that. But that's something I would definitely recommend your grown-up help you with. So we have our instructions and supply list right here, which is also going to be in a link which accompanies this video as well. So let's go ahead and get started what we're going to be working on today. Now for my tissue, I thought to create a flower about this size, which I think is pretty big. We want to cut our tissue in rectangles about this size here. So you could get your tissue at, at any dollar store. Maybe you even have some left over from a gift wrap and maybe ask your grown up to see if there's any laying around the house that you can use. And I picked some nice pink colors because I thought they reminded me of pretty flowers and spring. You can use any color combination that you want. All one color, many different colors like a rainbow, whatever you think might look cool. So once you have your tissue laid out like this, we're gonna fold it just like we do a fan. If any of you have made a fan before? Well, if you have, this is gonna be pretty much like the same thing. So we're just gonna fold it like this and just do a back and forth. Some people say, well, how many sheets of tissue do you need? I would say probably anywhere between eight and 12 would be the best. But that's kind of up to you with how full you want your flower to look. So once we're done with this part here, we have it all folded, we're gonna take it in the middle. This is where some people like to staple theirs just to keep it together. We won't worry about that so much today. And instead, we're gonna take our pipe cleaner and wrap it around the middle just like this, nice and tight, just like we would if we were tying our shoes. And I'm just gonna wrap it around, make it nice and secure, and then tuck that little sharp end away. We're gonna keep this part out like that. And now, all we need to do is kind of spread this out just a little bit. Once again, almost like we would be doing it was a fan. And now all we're going to do is pull our pieces apart just like this. And this part's a little tricky, but you can't really mess it up. So we're just going to take our folds like this and we're going to gently pull them forward. I can see a pretty pink flower coming to shape already. What do you think? All right, I'll just keep going here until the end. And like I said, you can use this. See, no big deal if it rips, just like that. You can make this for friends, for gifts, or you can even use this to decorate your own room. It's so nice that we have spring coming. We can do fun things just like this. So as we wrap up our demonstration of our tissue paper flower, think of all the different things you can do. Any inspiration you have by nature, maybe even taking a walk outside to see all the different flowers that you can spot when you go on your own adventures. 
And for this, we'll just continue doing the same thing on the other side. You can hold it up just like this. So, wish you very well. Have fun creating your own wonderful treasures. And we hope to see you again soon here. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channels so that you can make these crafts as well as all the other wonderful programming that the Waco McLennan County Public Library offers. Goodbye, friends. Happy spring.